I would like to thank the Innovative Technology Education Fund for funding this um, PD training through Lean Into Learning Grant. Um, some of the takeaways um, or things that I learned that I will be implementing into my teaching practices were the integration of um, Aristotle um, 360, um, tying that with Google Classroom, um, also the Google Calendar, um, the forms, the labels, um, the Google Meet and Classroom tips that we learn. Um, I will definitely take advantage of those. Utilizing um, Google for collaboration and group discussions. Um, also for reflections. Uh, level two um, training was, was really fascinating to see how a lot of that stuff would be definitely able to be used more. And honestly, it sparked a lot of my, a lot of ideas in my head about um, what a synchronous Google experience could look like from the staff of Hazelwood East and how we can kind of plan a whole Google um, um, so platform, basically like a, create like a model for what a Google infused school could be to where not only do you have that synchronous um, instruction from teachers, but also it creates a more user-friendly experience for students, which I think this be very helpful. To be honest, I was a little bit anxious coming into the school year, but now I feel better equipped to begin this school year virtually. This PD gave me the chance to learn from my colleagues, as well as I now know that I have my own community of ed tech experts right within my own building. I plan on better incorporating the following programs, such as Google Jamboard, Google Tasks, and even creating better formative assessments and being able to de-aggregate that data that comes from within it. This is my first year teaching and I picked a very interesting time to start teaching. Um, one of the biggest takeaways uh, from this experience is that organization is going to be crucial to the success of any online endeavors with students. Um, it's kind of a horrifying concept for somebody that's not necessarily known for his organizational skills, more for his creativity. Uh, but, um, and, I, and I guess since I was already nervous about teaching when I thought I'd be surrounded by people that knew what they were doing and, uh, and would be there to support me. Um, this course has taught me a lot of extremely valuable methods of using the Google suite to keep my classes organized and make content easily accessible and easy to navigate for students. I'd like to say that this institute was very beneficial. I think that um, any teachers that didn't take advantage of this are going to be behind at the beginning of next year when we start school all online. Uh, the things we learned in this institute are going to give us a head start or boost uh, to helping students learn virtually and have it be engaging and interesting to them at the same time. And my biggest takeaways were learning about Google Sites, being able to sync Sys and Google, Nearpod, video creations, Google Meets, uh, Google Sheets, and Google Forms. All very good information. Um, I learned some stuff that I didn't even know was possible. Uh, because of this PD, I feel good about how I can run my classroom virtually. I am putting ideas together in my head about what I want to do for each content I teach. And now I have the technical information to do it. It was a great PD. Thank you for having it. My biggest takeaway from the professional development was um, learning extended ways in which I can use Google applications to teach and learning that um, the applications that are already used have so many more features that I'll be able to utilize, such as Google Classroom, um, having the create a rubric feature, which I can utilize. Um, and what I will be sure to do differently um, in my teaching um, based on the professional development is to um, be flexible in um, while students are figuring out and navigating all of these various um, technological platforms um, because we are all in the same boat and we're all learning together. I just wanna say that this by far has been such an informative um, PD. 
Um, I have gained so much new knowledge about Google Classroom and all the components, and I cannot wait to use them. I didn't know that you can assign worksheets just to certain students, so I definitely will be using that, especially with my essential skills students, where I have so many um, levels in one classroom. Um, this will be very ben beneficial, so I can make sure that all my students are being challenged enough. I want to say thank you for uh, allowing us to have this training. It was very good, it helped me in a lot of ways. Uh, some of my takeaways are, I did not know how big and fast the Google education ecosystem was. Uh, so many sites and options I didn't know about or how to use uh, that I did know about, but now I'm more eager to try and tackle those uh, uh, options. One thing that stuck out to me was Google Tour Creator. I'd love to take that and uh, have the kids go on a voyage at the Beagle with Darwin. This is going to be a school opening unlike I have ever seen in my past 26 years of teaching choirs in high school. Of course, before going into this session, I knew about Gmail. The Google Summer Institute uh, introduced me to a trove of Google documents and sheets and forms and slides and tasks classroom, keep, and help. There are many more to Google, but the ones I mentioned are the ones I need to concentrate on before getting started in a few weeks. Google Forms, Slides, and Classrooms are the three major takeaways from our sessions this week that will help me teach my students virtually. Choir is a very vocal communal class. Um, it will be a challenge at best, and the best way to meet that challenge is through Google that I learned at the Summer Institute. Thank you. Very glad that I decided to do this institute. It helped me in a variety of different ways. I gained insight on a lot of programs that I didn't know existed, Google Earth and uh, Google Slides and things like that, that will give me the opportunity to provide more versatility and more um, opportunities for my students to learn in a variety of ways, even being in an online classroom. Some things I would probably do different with my classroom in order to incorporate these tools. Um, probably the biggest thing is creating more project-based learning um, to engage the students more so they have more time to um, be creative and more hands-on uh, so that it's a unique situation for them. Since this is such a unique situation for them, this will allow them to really show their creative side. Um, but also for those students who are more analytical, it allows them to bring in that analytical side of their brain. And um, I feel like they'll really be able to put in a lot of unique uh, finds that they can and information to get their point across. First, I'd like to thank ITEF for just providing this training. This training has been um, so empowering for me. I now know how to use many of the Google tools that have been at my disposal that I was not very effective at using. I now know how to do that. And I now have a toolbox to work from. My biggest takeaway is that I now believe that I have what it takes to teach my class virtually, even though I still need some more practice. And the things that I would do differently, I will integrate more technology into my learning, into my teaching. So I will be using Google Forms and Google Sheets and Google Slides, and I will connect my Google Classroom to my gradebook using some of the nice tricks that I've learned. And I think that this will just be a more enriching and more engaging year for me and my students. Thank you so much for giving our school this grant, this technology grant um, to get us prepared for virtual learning. Last March when we went out, it was quite the challenge. Um, I think now with training like this and using our experts at school, we are a lot more prepared. What will I do differently? Compared to last time, or even compared to normal school, usually when I teach like research skills or show them something that will help um, the kids, 
I use my screen and it's cast up on a Promethean board so the kids can follow along. And so I was like, oh, how do I do that? Well, um, one of the programs we learned is called Wakelet. So I can uh, use that, be able to put audio over what I'm looking at my screen that the kids can then see. So I can narrate the directions and they can be available on either um, YouTube or they can be put into Google Classroom. Um, I've learned a lot over the last three days of our Summer Institute. Um, a lot of things with Google that have now made me confident that I should take the level one and level two uh, educator tests. Um, level one, I think I could have done for a while now, but level two, I definitely got up to date on a lot of things with Sheets and Tour Builder um, and all kinds of other things that I think um, now I can confidently take that test and pass it and add that as my list of things that I can say I'm proficient at. Um, beyond that, as far as how this is going to change my teaching, oh my gosh, so many ideas. Um, first, I learned a great way to save time as far as linking Google Classroom with our gradebook system of SIS or Tyler or 360, whatever you want to call it, um, going to save me so much time entering grades. Um, with that extra time, I can implement new ideas such as HyperDocs. Um, HyperDocs look amazing, particularly I'm thinking of it as a backup plan for my students that perhaps have to be absent for a long term situation, especially with COVID and everything right now. It definitely makes sense to have a backup plan for those students where they can work through everything at their own pace. And HyperDocs really offers that option, which is very interesting and very cool to me. Um, beyond that, Tour Builder as a French teacher is going to give my students an opportunity to see places that they probably would never otherwise go um, this early in their young lives because they don't often have the opportunity to. Um, and of course, travel restrictions right now. So I think it's going to allow us to really see things um, using Google Earth and all of those tool builders and creators and things where they're going to feel as close to being there as they possibly can at this time, which is going to be an amazing cultural experience for them. So I thank you for your funds. It was an amazing thing. And it was great to be able to share with colleagues within my own building and know that we can all learn from each other. Uh, I am so um, happy that I did take this PD just because I am uh, very uh, concerned about what's going on as far as what we're doing virtual learning. Um, uh, I'm not as tech savvy as I want to be. So this PD uh, helped me a lot. Uh, I'm very thankful and I'm glad that, you know, this was a, a, a very good PD because um, there's a lot of things I will be using like Google Sites, um, uh, Google Form, using a lot of that more, um, a lot of other different uh, resources that I will be using that will help me um, um, do what I have to do to uh, be the best teacher I can be. I was able to get on to several different sessions um, from learning more about my email and how to keep track of it all to how to include YouTube videos in Google Classroom and making Google Classroom talk to sis. Um, I'm especially grateful for this information now that we're going 100% virtual until October. And I know none of this would have been possible without that great tech team. Our building has an amazing amount of brilliance um, and talent, and I'm so grateful everyone is always willing to share.